we have a request for fall 19, test four, part four, question eight. Here she is. And there's a lot going on. This one, the ring on the left got smaller. Whoa. And the ring on the right stayed the same. But the point is, we have a molecule that's got tertiary Rx and on the other side, a uh, secondary Rx. And even more important, that's a new, it's a new, a new in the same molecule, there's a leaving group. What are we talking about? NGP. Now I think I'd be pretty flexible on this one. You can you can do the NGP to the left or the right, I, and I won't grade you if you start with the wrong one first. Yes. Uh, this carbon has uh, one bond to carbon, two bonds to carbon, three bonds to carbon. It's tertiary. A G? The CH3 looks like a G. Yeah. Oh, you gotta move closer, dude. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> All that studying is <laughs> getting fuzzy. Okay. All right. You want to start on the right? All right, we'll do that. NGP, you got to hit the carbon with the halogen, and the halogen leaves. And you're going to make either a triangle or a square. In this case, it's going to be a square. And on the left, we haven't done that one yet. And so it's just this. And on the right, we did stuff. So copy the octagon. Well, try to copy the octagon. That didn't change. Uh, there's a new bond, though, from here all the way over here. Can you tell me why it's on a dash? No, no. Those are, those are real. That's a real bond. It's uh yeah, it came in from behind a wedge to make the bond. And don't forget there's an H on oh, I don't have to draw an H. There you go. The phosphorus now has four bonds. So don't lose your half point. Plus. Now the thing about NGP, you gotta bring this nucleophile in and attack the carbon that's less hindered. That means there's less stuff on it. Your two choices of carbons are the ones attached to phosphorus here or the one attached to phosphorus here. Which one's less hindered by a lot? The one on the right. Yeah. And look, that's where they always anyway, right? Yeah. So backside attack using butanol. Hey, it's going to end up on a wedge again, isn't it? You came in from 180 degrees from a dash. It's a wedge. Hey, that makes sense. So a flip and then another flip gets you back to the original kind of way, right? That's cool. I'm starting to like this reaction now. And I think we're just going to worry about doing the same thing on the other side. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got uh, boom, boom. And oh, we're not quite done with this side, though. You do. You are 100% correct, sir. H-O boo. Plus. H-O boo is your solvent, too, so it's the only thing you got for taking H off. I suppose you could use Cl minus, but there's not a lot of that around. There's a lot of H-O boo. No, I would not, but I, I wouldn't be that happy. Because it's not quite as good a base is one reason, and there's there's very little of it around. This thing's swimming with H O boo. It's a solvent. Why is it the minus is not conjugate Because you don't have any conjugate base of an alcohol. Alcohols are strong, uh, weak, weak, weak acids. So there's no O B O boo minus floating around. So that gets us halfway there. Halfway there, we're living on a prayer. The Bon Jovi reference there. Oh, yeah. Yes, it would be a yeah, boo oxonium. If you want to show that, you'd end up with 
that. Yeah, if you're doing some bookkeeping, that's good to know. And then they got the rest of this thing. And the dimethyl. My dimethyl moves. <laughs> Apparently this molecule is jealous. Stop that. <laughs> okay. Weird comments on this video. And the, the thing moved here too. That old man, huh? It's out to get me, I swear. Not really. And I'm going to try. This part's not going to change again. So let's see if we can make that make sense. If I call that R. Lone pair. And apparently, I forgot my uh, leaving group. It disappeared off of here. One of those was supposed to be a leaving group, right? <laughs> yeah, chlorine just like fell off the face of the earth and became a methyl, right? That ain't happening. I don't care about that. Side product. Don't need it. But, you know, since Gita asked me to do it here, I'll do that for you too. Uh, it happened off in this first step, right? So you can just say Cl minus also appeared right here. And it's going to appear here too. My molecule keeps moving everything I draw every time I shift positions on the screen. It's torture. That's what I said. All right. There we go. Push to green. Let's see if I can get this R thing making sense. R. And there's this bond here, and it's kind of attached to. There's a P on the bottom of the bond. Let's go blue. P. And P is part of R. There we go. And this goes, let's draw the hexagon. The P is part of. That didn't change. It came in back side of a wedge this time. So, sorry, back side of a dash. So P is on a wedge all the way over across the ring there. P is a plus. And now I see how that ring got smaller because HO boo's got to attack one of these two positions. You ready? It's got to be one of the carbons attached to the P. The one where there's no groups attached or the one where there's two groups attached? Which one? Yeah. One, yeah. So one group attached. And that's uh, that's why this. Yeah, I misspoke when I said no group. <laughs> she, she actually corrected me politely. <laughs> I said no group. So this does have a group, right? This carbon has a group on it there. And this carbon has two, uh, two groups, one there, one there, and one, three groups. Yeah, basically primary versus tertiary, right? One versus three, that was the end. And HO boo is going to hit the least hindered one. HO boo. That's the key to the NGP is to bust open the least hindered one. And there's a clue up here that it, that, that happened. Look, the ring is attached to a CH2 now. See that? Right there. So you better hit a CH2, which is what you did. And you're going to get P, wedge, methyl, once, twice, three times. There, R, uh, P, well, that wedge reaches all the way across. That is a very weird looking wedge now. Sorry. And then the P is still attached. No, this is attached to a CH2. Oh, boo. Oh, green. Boo. Plus. And that's got to go to our final product. Just by taking off uh, HO. Here, let's draw HO boo one time. There we go. And that goes to, I don't know, uh, product, which is the final product. Yes. 
Attack the less uh, less substituted carbon. Yeah. Um. How does the bond? Can you show the rearrangement on the side just for that? Well, the rearrangement happened right here when you made this ring inside the other ring. Can you show us how? Right. And it's sitting next to the last seven, where the dash, the dash one is just straight next to the phosphorus. Dash um, one. This one. Yeah. Wedge. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we made that bond right here. No, I understand that part. Yeah. From here to the left, like, how did you... You attacked a CH2 with an O. So there's the bond from the O to the CH2. The CH2 is still connected to the carbon that had the methyl. The CH2 is still connected to the carbon with the methyl. In that, yeah, that's the smaller ring that was inside the bigger ring, right? It stayed. Yeah. We good? All right, that was a that was a good one.